I felt so painfully different in the environments that I was in growing up. Yeah, I feel like ever since I was a child, I've been obsessed with colors and the architecture of things, like make something out of nothing. My mother had provided me with this camera. She wanted me to document my whole process of me traveling to Florida, capture the pictures and memories and bring them back to her so that she can live through that. That's where it all started for me. My profession changes every single day. Some days I'm a poet, some days I'm a philosopher, some days I'm a performer. None of that fits on a business card. In these dominant structures we live in, we are encouraged to limit what we see our future can hold. Society, they start brainwashing us young. And then we go through life like carrying this backpack of all these doubts. I had always had dreams and aspirations of shooting covers and things of that nature. But, you know, I was never presented the opportunity to do so because I didn't have the portfolio. Being a Dominican young woman coming from a culture that's super homophobic, transphobic, racist, misogynistic, I felt like I had to create this space, like force this space open. A lot of what I talk about in terms of equity is about expanding access access to information and resources, and I see my website as that. Squarespace changed my life in the best way because it did empower me to believe in myself in a sense like, wow, like I could really just open up shop and see if somebody buys something. It was clean cut, user friendly, and it was super easy to navigate, and it gave you that professional feel. Because if I didn't have that online portfolio and people not being able to see my work, I would have easily been back to square one, which was going back home to Athens. People who were a part of my community were supporting me through that shop. The way that I was in museums, art galleries, global campaigns was because they found my website. You don't have to take a traditional job. You don't have to be a doctor, lawyer, you know, or anything of that nature in order to succeed. Art is a real job, and you can succeed by doing art. I'm living proof that you can. For anyone who sees my work, I wish for them to understand and know that they are possible. I want my legacy to be like, when they see my art, they were like, oh yeah, this person was talking about creating safe spaces for black and brown queer people. They did that. You can do whatever you want. You have that freedom. Don't let nobody break you down. I want people to know that there are no limits to your existence, that you can continue to be everything you are. You can be not just accepted, but celebrated for everything you are. We transform the world by transforming ourselves. I'm Skrill Davis. I am Uzumaki Cepeda. I'm Jez Chung. And, and I'm, I'm making space, space for those who feel unheard for equal opportunity, compassion, care, and collective liberation.